Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Motorway, a Hong Kong thriller action flick from 2012 that has flown, or perhaps driven, under people's radars. An overconfident rookie, played by Sean Yu, in the Stealth Riders Division, which is a secret police unit consisting of the best drivers in the force that take down criminals in the drag racing underworld, well this guy teams up with his veteran partner, played by Anthony Wong, to take on a legendary escape driver who has never been caught. As they put together a strategic plan to take his, this criminal down, they put the pedal to the metal in a death-defying showdown, using only their cars as weapons. So Motorway is a pretty fantastic example of why Johnny Toe is such a good producer. He established the production company Milky Way Image, alongside another director, Y Ka Fai. And Milky Way Image has given us some good stuff over the years, even when Toe is not the director. Some examples are Beyond Hypothermia, Eye in the Sky, and Accident. Now, I recently reviewed another Hong Kong racing film by the name of Initial D recently, which inspired me to re-watch Motorway for the purposes of comparison. And it's not even close. Like, Motorway is the far superior film. We get good quality car pursuits, some stylish camera work, and practically no dull filler to get in the way. Runtime is less than 90 minutes, so it keeps moving. This is all a recipe for success. Now, some of the car chases are very nicely filmed to capture the speed of the pursuit. You know, they use some low camera angles from asphalt level, etc. However, the best scenes of the film involve car pursuits at low speed. And you're probably asking yourself, how on earth can a low-speed car pursuit be entertaining? Well, watch the film, and you'll know. Motorway uses, like, these unorthodox back-alley driving scenes for its best moments, which is very interesting and kind of refreshing for a film of this kind. Now, I want to avoid spoilers, of course, but this is essentially how these scenes work. You'll have the bad guys. Right, and they'll, they'll scout the locations in these alleyways where you can fit cars in. Or any other area where it, that's kind of claustrophobic and tight to fit cars into. And they'll scout them. And then they'll commit a crime, and during their getaway, they'll enter you know, in their car into this like uh, a series of uh, alleyways. And the cops will pursue them. Now, they intentionally find a spot... The bad guys will always have a spot where the turn is extremely difficult. Or there'll be some type of obstacle that's extremely difficult to get through with a car. But this driver, the bad guy, is such a badass that he can make the maneuver work. Get through the obstacle, and the cops in pursuit just can't get through it. So it's like, it's, it's pretty cool. And he uses uh, some pretty interesting little uh, techniques in there. The villain is like 100% reliant on his assumption that he's a better driver than any police officer. And that's how he makes his getaways. So it's pretty cool. You know, it's completely different from like a, a Fast and Furious film or something like that. So the car pursuits in this film really kind of aim for suspense and tension. Instead of blockbuster style like explosions and spectacle. You don't really get that in this. It's more low key than your typical car chase film. But it works really well. There's a, like I said, there's like a sense of claustrophobia during some of these scenes too. Because you really got to get into like these tight spaces during the getaways. It's kind of unique. The finale is quite possibly the best parking garage car pursuit I've ever seen. You know, it takes place at night. All the lights are out in the garage because the, the villain cut the power. And the cops are trying to find him. And it's like a cloak and dagger thing. Like he's moving his car, he's hiding it. You know, he's making these weird, like, uh, turns and, like, uh, uh, maneuvers inside this parking garage to just elude capture. It's pretty cool. Um, there's also a fantastic scene involving tire slashers, which I, I've never really seen in a film before. There's no CGI use for the car chases at all. Thank you for that. None at all. So this is a very, like, grounded film in its action physics, which I can appreciate. In terms of the characters and story, it's more than sufficient. You know, Sean Yu's character, he does screw up a few times. He's kind of a newbie. Uh, 
but he's he's kind of in and over his head much of the film. But that helps us get behind him and root for him. You know what I mean? The villain, like I said, is a total badass in this, which makes it really feel like our protagonist is greatly outmatched by this guy. But it's a good place to be in as a viewer. The conflict in the film is very strong. Anthony Wong is good as usual. Uh, Gordon Lam and Josie Ho also have supporting roles, and Gordon Lam is not a bad guy. So if you want an example <laughs> of a Milky Way image film where Gordon Lam is not the bad guy, there you go. The music's good, very rhythmic and understated. If I were to make one criticism of this film, it's that the cops have inept coordination skills. You know, they do a pretty poor job of calling for backup, you know, in placing the backup cars in the appropriate locations to kind of cut off uh, escape routes and stuff. Uh, the finale in particular is kind of like, it's basically a one-on-one -on -one showdown with, like, no police support at all. Ba well, a little bit, but not enough. Kind of unrealistic to a degree. I mean, if this thing was going on for this long, you'd have, like, a dozen cop cars, like, all over the place, right? But eh, it's okay. It's uh, not a major flaw, but you might notice it. So, Motorway, really solid unique car pursuit film it carves out its own identity i don't think really there's many car pursuit films that are quite like this one i strongly recommend this it's currently available on streaming and on physical media and as always i will see you next time